Hi everybody, I hope you all are doing great. So I got few comments on my previous videos. So it clearly shows there is some dysfunction going on YouTube right now. So in the last two years, the biggest change that has happened is AI. A lot of fluff content is generated. It might look perfect on the surface where you see these videos after every three seconds, there is a scene change. It gives you that instant gratification. A lot of retention editing is done to make these videos look larger than life. You remember back in time, there were only few channels who were really great at what they were doing the podcasting channels even the best of creators on youtube they are changing their content strategy they are shifting to podcast channels why is this happening even i was thinking to change this channel into a podcasting channel because i see the trend it's doing really well but he has started doing the same thing even if it's not required and hence a lot of fluff content is there all over on the youtube problem here is now that they create one content one podcast video and they generate 100 videos out of that one content and they are underestimating their audience intelligence and discernment they are pumping out a hell lot of content from those videos using you know ai generated scripts those text to speech tools stolen content word salads copyright characters and whatnot youtube's biggest downfall is that it is trying to be everything but oh. youtube I would say it's not dead but it has definitely got ruined when did the problem start it's about YouTube ad revenue. Creators today, they are earning less than half of the revenue they used to earn a couple of years back. So now the creators are becoming content factories for YouTube. A lot of content is flooded on the platform and there will be a lot of low quality, low effort content as well. YouTube is an engagement based model. It's very important to like generate the reactions out of your audience. For example, if I create videos, I create info video, educational videos, people would write, thank you, your content is nice. On the other side, reaction videos would get a lot of engagement. I don't like the fact where like, you know, they over glamorize the reaction. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. They are creating a lot of cringe content also. Does a pissing and nagging matter to YouTube? No, it's none of their business. Basically, YouTube's revenue model is the problem. Creators are pumping a lot of content to cover up their cost. YouTube is pushing out more and more family content. Now you see a lot of vloggers are making family content. Why? Because YouTube is demonetizing other sort of content. If, if you create polarizing content, YouTube will demonetize your video. So a lot of YouTubers are shifting to vlogs now. Enough of bashing now. My two cents on this whole thing would be that not every model is designed for everyone. No matter how much you and me cringe about these kind of content, there are some people for whom this content is serving them well. I think that's all matter. I appreciate the content that is full of value, but I also respect as a creator on this platform, I also respect the diversity of this platform. I know it's open to all the creators. As long as we guys are aware, we have got our things sorted out. I mean, what others do, it's none of our business. We are just here to bring the awareness and that's all. And as a consumer also, I consume a lot of content on YouTube and I come across videos where I'm like, wow, why YouTube is not showing me the content of these creators? Obviously, these creators are small creators, but their content is at par. I'm sure you must have also come across these channels. It's really hard to grow on YouTube as compared to other platforms, but this platform would teach you a lot of patience, a lot of skills, collaborations and whatnot. Whenever I upload a video on YouTube, I just do a self-talk that my job is done. I, there is nothing that I can control about that now and I don't care about the metrics the only success metric that I care about is that I set for myself I realize the long term benefits of playing this game and that is why I am into this that is all for this video guys if you have a goal if you have a goal other than YouTube I would say pursue it please process itself is worth it and you would realize that thank you so much for watching